Well, I've come off the uh, off the ploughed and uh, come onto the uh, onto the pasture. Um, sun has come out. It's a little bit warmer. Got my jacket off. First time I think this year. <laughs> no, it's about the third time. But uh, anyway, we're off and we're in the pasture now and see what we can. Well, not sure what I've got down by here, uh, but it looks either a button or a coin. Oh, let's see what's on the other side. Oh, 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 oh. Right, let's clean you up. You're very thin. Wow. That is very, very thin. And I can't get anything on it at the moment, but uh, that is not a button. I suspect that's a coin, but what it is, I don't know. Well, I'm not sure if that's not a, the makings of a love token. I can see now the uh, the bends that normally when it's not that pronounced, but there's the uh, there's definitely the S shape there. Uh, the only thing is it's copper, but it has been rubbed absolutely blank. Um, so we'll check it out, see what we can get. On to the next. Well, there it is just in the hole there and what have we got we've got a 10 pence piece one of the old 10 pences well 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 would you believe it <laughs> Queen Elizabeth and uh, what's the date I don't know it's not that old I can tell you uh, 1980 something I expect ah there you go one ten p piece down quoi, for that I don't know six inches which is a lot for a ten p piece on a pasture but there you go uh, can't get the date of it can't see I'm got my glasses there you go ten pence on to the well that gave a banging signal <laughs> it's a big bronze nut uh, brass nut maybe yeah brass wow let's see what it's all about that's a cap of some sort that went in there like that And that was in there, and that went like that, the whole thing was squashed down. Well, there you go. Well, down there about, I don't know, five inches, what looks to me like a Georgian trade weight uh, or coin weight. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a little Georgian weight, uh, trade weight, I suspect. Or is it a coin weight? Oh, hang on, I'll just get me glasses. Okay, let's have a little look together. Uh, still can't read, it needs cleaning up. Can't quite make out the markings. But it will have uh, a G on it and possibly a crown. Uh, if not, no idea. I'll have to clean it up and get the magnifying glass in it. But that's a little trade weight, coin weight, whatever. Brilliant find. Pleased with that. Okay, moving on. Well, I dug the clod there and found the trade weight and then I rubbed the coil over the top of the turf again and my heart turned over when I pulled this out I thought oh my goodness but it's a gilded button <laughs> never mind it's a nice little button but it was right next to that uh, trade weight within a few inches and uh, anyway that's what a nice little gilded button on the back anyway the front has gone uh, but hey on to the next well, it took me a little while to find this one. Uh, it's uh, 
I found a few of these and um, I, I put them down to uh, furniture fitting. It's got a little hole through the centre. Uh, I found, I don't know, two or three of these on here and uh, thin copperish um, copper uh, pressed. I would put them about uh, 18th century, something like that, maybe 19th century, but uh, it'd be interesting to find out what they are. Um, but I suspect they're uh, kind of um, furniture fit in. But boy, that was deep down, that one was. I'm going, I've been down about, I don't know, 12 inches to get that one out. But uh, anyway, on to the next. Oh, when I saw this, my heart turned over. <laughs> Thought I'd found some silver, but I'm afraid that's not the case. It's just a, I know, stopper of some sort. It's got a little hole in the middle there. Uh, obviously it was pinned to something. But no, it's, uh, it's aluminium. Oh, down a fair old way, down, what's that, about nine inches. But uh, nothing to write home about. Just a bit of aluminium. Well, oh. down there, I don't know, what, wow, six inches. Very nice little thimble. Uh, 17, 1800s, I expect. Maybe 1900s. Yeah, more like 18, 1900s. Looking at the style and the finish of it. Just needs cleaning up and uh, just needs drying out. Get a picture up and uh, that is one little tiny symbol. Okay, moving on. What have we got here? One tiny little pistol ball. Woo. There it comes. One tiny little pistol ball. Okay, moving on. Well, down about eight inches, we have uh, this, which is a buckle. Uh, again, not particularly old. Uh, pin is still intact, which is amazing. Oh, it was intact. There you go, one buckle. Well, I think we've got a coin down here. And if you can see it, it's stuck in there. Oh my goodness, it doesn't look that old, actually. But it's a coin. It is a coin. It's a collar. It's a penny. Uh, oh, there we go, 1910 says there, 19, either 1910 or 1916, 1910, there you go, wow, okay, moving on, clean that up, see if we can get off it, but moving on, well down there about seven inches, uh, a little bit of uh, possible uh, furniture, uh, decoration, um, Victorian kind of stuff, um, had quite a bit off here, uh, it's obviously been chewed up by the plough in the past, but, um, that's what that is, a little bit of, uh, furniture fitting, or possibly horse brass, but, um, I suspect furniture, uh, Decoration. Okay, just down here, just below the surface, uh, cleaned it up a little bit, so I can get it out of the sun, a uh, little religious uh, pendant, I think that's silver, um, and it looks like, I don't know, like an apostle or something like that, but um, when I say it's a pendant, it's got a little link there, a link there, and a link at the bottom, so whether that was 
actually fixed to something else I don't know but uh, that's what that is is a little religious pendant I can see the head and it looks like a little apostle or something like that so uh, we'll check that out and uh, can't see any hallmarks on it and nothing on the back or anything silver but it looks silver um, and we'll check that out. Okay, moving on to the next. Down there, uh, somewhere about five, six inches, I found an old rusty nut. It gave a brilliant signal. So, uh, anyway, one old nut to another old nut. Down there, I don't know, good uh, six inches or so, we have a very nice uh, buckle. I haven't cleaned it yet. Uh, because the pin is still intact and that is quite an old buckle um, I don't want to spoil it so I'm not going to try and get any of the dirt off it just a bit <laughs> if you can see that that is quite an old buckle maybe I don't know 16th Century, I don't know. Uh, I'll check it out when I get home, maybe a little bit uh, later than that. But that is a lovely buckle, and we're going to take that and uh, clean it up, see what we've got. Okay, moving on to the next. Uh, uh, one very nice uh, bone handled uh, pen knife. Sadly, the blade has rusted into the housing, but that would have been a very, very nice. Uh, you can tell it's uh, bone, it's not plastic or anything like that. That is uh, a lovely bone handled uh, knife. And uh, I bet the guy who lost that was very, very sad. That's a nice little knife. Okay, not very old, but uh, I would say maybe 50s, 60s, 1950s, 1960s, something like that. But that is one very nice um bone handled knife okay on to the next well we've got something here i think it's a a buckle with a bit of leather still on it so it's not that old um but anyway it's a nice nice buckle and uh yeah i wouldn't say it's terribly old but uh there you are one Nice buckle. With the leather still intact. Okay, moving on. This is the second buckle I found in uh, just a few minutes. The leather still attached to it again. And uh, well, it's more of a, not so much a buckle, but a ring. Nice uh, bronze ring. That was a leather. That was attached to it. Um, that's the leather and another bit there. So, uh, just a bronze ring. A bridal ring, I should imagine. Uh, again, not too old. But boy, a hefty bit of uh, bronze ring or brass. Um, but that's what it was. Well, just down there, we found this other piece. Uh, I've cleaned it up a bit. Found the uh, the ring there and the buckle up there, which about, I don't know, five meters or more. And uh, and I got a feeling this is all from the same piece of uh, uh, horse tack, bridle, whatever. Um, not very old, but lovely brass piece where the leathers would have gone through there. And uh, anyway, nice little piece to find. Well, we have one little dog tag down there, about four inches, and it has the name of the owner of the fields here. So uh, I'll give that back to him. I don't think, uh, I'm sure he's got the dogs, but uh, it's got the name of the owner on it. So we'll pass that back and uh, maybe get into good books and all that okay 
it's just in this little bit of let me just adjust the sun away from here uh, not in that oh right baby what have we got oh okay not sure what you are Wow, I'm not sure what that is, but that is old. Now, I am right on a Roman road uh, that comes through here, all the way through here, and just through there, there's a was the site of a Roman villa. See the tree, and if you can see the tree there, just on that hedgerow, just behind there there was a Roman villa and this is a Roman road and I've been up and down here actually there was uh, electric cables uh, that were run through here last year and the archaeologists were here and they went over it didn't find anything but after they went I found an old 1700s token just up there but never found anything I can understand because if they were going to the villa they wouldn't stop anywhere around here the only thing would be things of loss now this to me is uh, very very old and I'm not sure what it is but I'm going to try and check that out and uh, because it's crudely made whatever it is um, uh, just to be on the cautious side I would put it no less than medieval um, over there uh, just behind those trees there I found two Saxon zoomorphic strap ends um, so this this site is not yielding a lot but what it has yielded has been uh, very very good and I'd like to know what that is it could be just a, a, a mount of some sort okay moving on well down there I don't know some six inches I'm not sure what this is um, it looks like a fixing of some sort it's got a a long stem like a pointed stem like a nail but it's not a nail and then a, a circular bit at the top not a clue what that is it looks quite old to me um, maybe somebody can ID it um, wow that is something new on me not a clue what that is um, I'm gonna just take it check it out clean it up a little bit and see what we've got okay.